Hello everyone. I'm back with another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to create this cool video. But if this is your first time in the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notifications icon for more awesome videos. So let's get started. Start by deleting everything from the scene. Press A. X and then enter. Let's add in a UV sphere. Set the number of segments to 16 and the number of rings to 8. This will make out work lot easier. Tab into edit mode. Select the entire sphere by clicking A. Press S and then Z and scale it in Z axis. Enable proportional editing. Now select a edge loop by clicking Alt and selecting an edge. Move it and align it. Hot control to align it to grid. Do this for the top half as well in negative x direction. Now select the top end of the circle. Press G and X and position it in the position X direction. Do the opposite for the bottom edge. Add in a subdivision surface modifier. You are free to use loop cuts if needed. Enable Shade Smooth. Tab out of edit mode. Scale it down to the size you need. No add in a cylinder. Scale it down on Z axis. Hold down control to snap to grid. Scale it up on X and Y axis. Hold down control to snap to grid. Position the sphere we made at the end of the cylinder. Make sure to snap it to any one of the grids. Now duplicate this and move it in Y direction. Now add a subdivision surface modifier for the cylinder. You can select the top edge loop by alt clicking on any top edge. Press E then S and then 0. Press Ctrl plus R and slide in loop cuts on the top face. Do this for the bottom face as well. Add in a cylinder. This will be the thing that rotates. Scale it down on X and Y axis and make it thinner. Scale it to a reasonable size in Z axis. Rotate it slightly a bit on Y axis and position it. Duplicate the base cylinder. Move it in Z axis. Tab into edit mode. Add in a loop cut for the path we need for rotation. Select this face lock but turning on face select and alt clicking. Press Ctrl plus I to invert the selection. Press X and enter to delete the selection. Now select the rotating thing. Hold down shift and select the path we just created. Press Ctrl plus P and select set parent to object. Keep transform. Now hold shift and select the main cylinder. 
Press Ctrl plus P and select Set Parent to Object, Keep Transform. Select both the spheres and select Join. Add a mirror modifier and select the main cylinder. Uncheck the mirror direction on X and check the direction as Y. Now let's animate it. Drag the timeline so that we can see it. Select the path. Go to frame 1. Press I and insert a location keyframe. Go to frame 120. Press R and then Z and then 360. Press I and insert a rotation keyframe. Go to frame 240. Press R and then Z and then 360. Press I and insert a rotation keyframe. Select the rotating thing. Go to frame 1. Press I to insert a rotation keyframe. Go to frame 120. Press R and then Z and then 360. Press I and insert a rotation keyframe. You can reduce the number of frames to a smaller number like 120 frames. Add a plane and scale it. Now let's quickly add the materials. Split the window and open a shader editor. You should have turned on the node wrangler atten. You can do that by going to edit. Then preferences, add-ons, and turning on node wrangler. Seal the main cylinder. Click on new. Press shift plus control plus T. Select a required material. I will give a links to the one I have used in the description. Close the shader editor. Select the spheres. Go to materials tab. Add a new material. Decrease the roughness to lower value. Increase the transmission all the way to 1. Select the rotating thing add a new material. Give a surface color. Decrease the roughness to lower value. Increase the transmission all the way to 1. Do the same with a different color for the path. Go to World Setting. Select Environment Texture. And open a new HDRI. I will give a link to the one I used in the description. For the final effect I have also done some camera work. If you want to know how it is done leave a comment and let me know. And there it is. So the hit like button and comment on what you think about the video. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome contents like these.